Hi, I'm Chris from Cinti Studios, and today we'll be showing you how to retarget one of our characters to use the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. We'll also be using the Polygon Office Pack to do this. So to get started, I've opened the demo scene in the Polygon Office Pack, and we'll go to Add New, Add Features or Content Pack, Third Person, Add to Project. And this will bring in the files that we need to retarget the mannequin with the Cinti character. And we'll open the mannequin skeleton, you'll find that in Mannequin Character Mesh. We want the retarget manager. If you don't have that open, you can find that under window, retarget manager. Then for the rig, select humanoid rig. Then we'll want to get our skeleton here into a T-pose. So to do that, we'll select the arm and we'll bring them up and we'll mirror that on the other side. So once we're happy with how he looks, we'll go to modify pose, use current pose, then we'll save and close the skeleton. Then we'll look for the character skeleton from the Cinti pack. So in this case, Polygon Office meshes characters, and then the boss female 01 skeleton. We can open that up. Then again for our rig, select humanoid rig. And we'll just need to make some changes to the bones in the hand. So under the retarget manager, show advanced. And we'll make sure our index fingers are all linked to the appropriate index finger. Then for the middle finger, we'll be mapping this to finger 01, finger 02, and finger 03. And we'll be using these exact same bones for the pinky and the ring. So we've essentially just mapped what would be all of these fingers to just the one single bone. Then we'll do the same mapping to the right hand side, the only difference being instead of using the left, we'll be using the right fingers. Then we'll open up the skeleton tree and options, show retargeting options. And in here we want the root set to animation, the pelvis set to animation scaled, and then the rest of these will be set to skeleton. And with all those changed under the preview mesh, we'll just select the default character. In this case, we'll be using the boss female 01. And then over here, we'll apply to the asset. Then we can save and close. Then next, we'll look at setting up our animations. So under the mannequin animations folder, the third person anim BP, if we right click this, retarget, duplicate. Then from the list, we can select the skeleton we just previously worked on. And then down the bottom, we'll hit change on the folder. Then we'll find somewhere to save this. So I'll save mine in the characters retarget folder. Then we'll retarget. And we can see all the new files we've created here. And then the third person anim BP, I've just renamed this to Cinti anim BP just to make it a bit easier to find. Then we'll go file, save all. Then in the third person BP blueprints folder, the third person character, we'll right click this and duplicate and we'll rename it Cinti character. And we can open that up. We'll open up the viewport under mesh, skeletal mesh. We'll look for our character. So we use the boss female. And for the anim class, we'll set this as the Cinti anim BP, which we just created. Then our character will start playing the animation so we know that it's working. So with that set up, we'll compile and save. Now to get our character working in our game, we just need to set it in the third person game mode. So we can open that up. For the default pawn class, we'll set this to Cinti character and we compile and save. And then under blueprints, for the game mode, select base game mode, we want to select third person game mode, which you can see here. Now when we play our project, we're able to use the character in our level. And now that we have our Cinti character blueprint here, it's quite easy to change the character with another one that comes in the pack. So we'll open it up, open the viewport, under mesh, skeletal mesh. If we change this to one of the other characters, so business mail 01, with the viewport, you can see it's still animating. So compile and save. And if we hit play, and see we have our new character in the level. Hope you found the tutorial useful. If there's anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our latest videos, or check out our community Discord, the link is in the description.